You may be thinking of building a video for your teaching and health professions education, but have you thought about why? Why would you choose video over other teaching modalities? What benefits might video provide? This video series is part of the Amy Guide to Online Learning for Health Professions Education, as featured in the Supplementary Associated website. These videos also feature different styles and software that you may want to consider. In this video, we're featuring whiteboard animation using VideoScribe software. Here we will start with the why of video creation. There are four main reasons why you may consider using videos in your teaching. Number one, learner engagement. Videos can improve learner engagement through multimedia and narrative storytelling. It's been said that a picture is worth a thousand words. Using engaging multimedia can capture learners' attention for a short period of time, helping to draw in learners to other materials. Using patient narrative videos can really help learners to understand patients' perspectives and feel more connected to them. Videos can also be helpful to feel more connected and engaged with other learners and instructors in fully online courses. Learners are also more engaged when they feel in control of their learning. Using video allows learners to determine the speed of their learning and choice of relevant content. Learner engagement can also be tracked through metadata such as time spent on specific segments of the video or number of views to give feedback to the teachers as well. Number two, improved pedagogical delivery. Mayer's cognitive theory of multimedia learning postulates that learners use two channels when processing information, visual and auditory. Videos can incorporate both, making learning more efficient and effective. Videos can be viewed as pre-work for deeper in-person discussions or to revisit material at a later date, utilizing spaced learning principles of good pedagogical design. Consider using videos for foundational or complex information, particularly as part of a flipped classroom approach. Number three, affective learning. Videos can allow for emotional and empathetic learning how can connecting with a personal story, together with music, inspire you in ways that reading alone cannot? Compared to podcasting, which also allows for effective learning, videos require more bandwidth and visual attention when on the go, but it can also put a face to a voice and show visual context for effective learning. It's important to consider what might be beneficial to your learners when choosing what learning methods to use. Number four. Learner accessibility. Videos can be viewed anytime, anywhere, and at different speeds. Anytime allows just-in-time viewing, for example, right before a clinical encounter. Anywhere allows for learners to access during busy schedules, and any speed allows learners to watch at slower paces if information is new, complex, or in another language, or faster if simple or previously acquired. Internet accessibility can be an issue, but videos can also be uploaded in advance. When learning is more accessible, learners feel more in control and engaged, which brings us back to learner engagement as a first principle of why to choose video. Of course, videos have their limitations too. The intense engagement videos allow usually only persists for a couple of minutes of our attention. So videos need to be short, and due to their passive learning nature, should be part of a larger interactive curriculum. Our next video will briefly cover the how of video creation. For more information on the above concepts, please visit the Amy Guide to Online Learning and its accompanying website.